everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining me. We are doing some better pressing today. I have some new items from Spellbinders. These are part of the Spellbinders Cheers to You Better Press collection. Um, I'm in love with these and I thought we'd create a fun card. Um, I'm using this background plate. It's called Buffalo Plaid. This is one of those plates that are fabulous for your stash. I'm going to be using this for my background. It is a solid plate. And it's a little bit larger than an A2. Let me show you. So you'll have no problem covering the entire background. We're going to be using this on our cards along with the registration pl uh, press plate and die set. Love this. This is probably going to be one of my favorite sets because it's a registration, meaning you have the registration guide. It'll show you how to put it on your A2 panel. So it will fit perfectly, all of them, on, the, on your card. We're going to be using this for our card, but, um, but there's the die option that will cut them all out. How nice is that? And look how pretty they are. I love the florals in it. So we're going to actually um, create a background using our registration guy as a guide. It makes it super easy. We're going to use our background plate, our buffalo plaid. In the back, my idea is to use the buffalo plaid in the background and then with, an, with neutral colors and then have a flower that we're going to ink. Maybe this one. I thought this is really pretty that we could have right in the center and then put a greeting over the top. I'm going to be using a greeting set. This is a press plate and die set. I love that it's one piece and then the die is one piece. So one swipe and then you have all these greetings that are perfect. Happy birthday. You did it. It's your day. Make a wish from all of us. Cheers. You're the best. Lots of greetings for lots of occasions. So let's let's whip up a card. <laughs> okay, let's I have my better press here. Okay, and I'm going to bring in my cotton cardstock panels. Okay, let's start with our registration. That's this piece here. I'm going to put these aside. Okay, I'm going to add this and I'm going to tack it down because I don't want it to move. You want to make sure it's right side up. You don't have to necessarily tape this down, but since I have acetate um, on here, I think it's just going to be easier. And then what we can do is let's start with the pink. Now, normally what you would do with the registration plate is you see all the pink colors. You would lay all those um, plates down on the pink ink it up with your colors and then remove it and then do the the purple and then do the green and then do the blue and then you would come up with you know a, a pattern but I want a a neutral background so I'm going to do all of it the same color I'm thinking we will adhere those okay those are our those are our pink colors and I'm going to be using I haven't used this yet. This is Desert Sunset. I love the colors of these. They're nice neutral colors. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Better Press inks here. We will do these three with apricots. making sure that they don't shift. I'm adding my first color, which is apricot. And then I will take my top. I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to run it through my die cut machine. I'll be right back. Oh goodness. That is so pretty. Just beautiful. Okay. That's done. I'm gonna I wanna bring my magnetic tool. Let's see. 
with these lighter with the lighter press plates you can actually use your magnetic tool which is handy if you get ink on here you can always just wipe it off okay with that's done I'm going to wipe off my registration and then we're going to go in with our next color which will be purple let's do purple next and for this one I'm going to be using clay usually you would do a shimmy with these but since these are mostly solid I'm just kind of going to wipe across the top and press my cotton panel we're going to run this through the die cut machine and I'll be right back oh gosh that is so pretty and you know what I think I'm going to stick with these two colors I really like these two colors How pretty is this? I just love this. Okay, I want to mention that we have, we still, this, we took care of all of the, I think we took care of all the registration. So this is what the registration will bring you. You can use a rainbow of colors if you want. I do want to mention there's two extra press plates for extra details if you like that. And I just love the way this looks. Okay, I'm going to remove this here. We're going to remove this, and then I'm going to bring back, I think I want this right in the center. I think I want this one because it has florals. It has Well, maybe not this one. Maybe this one. Maybe we'll use this one. I'm going to bring back this press one. I'm using my archival ink cleaner to clean off the press plate here. It has a sponge dauber on it which makes it nice. I'm going to add this here and then we'll take another piece of cardstock. Okay, so we have black better press ink for a greeting and then for this one I'm going to go over it with my Coastal. Okay, so we have the Coastal Blue over this image, but I want to add a little bit of Tuscan because if I mix these two together, it'll create a green. So I'm going to add some highlights. I'm, this is my theory <laughs> with this. I'm not going to, I'm going to skip the flowers because I'll keep those blue. And we'll see what this does. We might have to do a redo. We'll see. So let's go ahead and run this through. Oh, that turned out pretty. Kind of got a little heavy handed here. But I love the way that looks. So those are done. And then, lastly, we're going to take our buffalo plaid. I think that looks good. My background, I'm going to add coastal. I do want to mention I'm fraying a little bit. You might want to pull away those threads. And I think it's doing it because I'm rubbing it. So I don't suggest rubbing it because you do have extra threads there. Okay, so there's my coastal. And then I'm going to add a little bit of Tuscan to the bottom here. Just a little bit. Maybe fade up a little bit. I don't know if this is going to ruin my ink pad or not. Let's, we can check it out after. We have a little bit of splotchiness here, but since our plate didn't move, I'm going to try and add a little bit more ink and see if we can get a better result. 
Now we're going to do some die cutting. This didn't work out as, as good as I planned because my tape from the corners, you can see when I removed it, it took, I can't create a card front panel with this. So we might have to do um, a 180 with this. So we're going to have to use this in a different way. So let's, now I'm going to go ahead and take the coordinating dies and we're going to die cut out, let's see, I think we're just going to die cut out this flower here which is this one, I believe. Nope. Let's do this one. We're going to die cut out this flower, and then we'll take this die and die cut out our greeting here. We have lots of ban we have lots of greetings now. I think that's fabulous. I'm going to use my postage edge rectangle die set from Spellbinders, and I'm going to die cut out a vellum postage edge and then I'm going to cut out, I think we're just going to go with our, our coastal color. Since my corners chomped off, I can't, my, my idea was to put it behind here. I'm going to line this up. I'm not going to add the green or so we could. I think we're just going to go with the coat, the blue. Okay, that is cut out. So we have a plaid that will look nice in our background. I'm thinking maybe we should better press one of these colors of flowers. What do you think? Let's do that. So I'm just not happy with the way this is turning out. So rather than making one card, let's make two. So let's do a rewind. So I think instead of using vellum for here, I'm gonna I created a frame. Okay, so I used the inner two postage edges to create a frame. And this one I think is gonna go perfect here. Maybe behind some vellum. Behind some vellum. Okay. Then I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to pop this up with some foam tape and we'll center it right here and then we'll put this on our card base. So you can still see the print behind there. And then for this card, we're going to go tone on tone. I'm going to go ahead and add some foam squares behind our floral. And then we will add this. in the center. I think that looks pretty. And we'll add cheers to you down here on the bottom, just using a little bit of tape. Maybe offset it a little. We'll add a foam square and a little bit of tape and kind of offset it here. Okay, so there's that card. I'm not, I do want to add some bells and whistles, but we'll wait until we finish our next card. Now my next card, I die cut out the postage edge, the same thing that we did with this card with the vellum, I did with the white card stock. And then I'll just take this panel and mat it on that postage edge. Okay, and then I'll pop this up and we'll put this in the center here. I bought some of the Spellbinders Vivant cord. This is the gold. It's it's a real thick cord. And I thought maybe we would wrap it around here on this card. I went ahead and put some foam tape behind here. Just kind of crisscrossed it. That's the nice thing about the postage edge is you have those, those um, borders. So now we have some texture on here. I'll take my floral. I'm going to put it right in the center. I think while I have my, my cord out, I'm going to double up on this. And this is, was kind of pricey, but I think this will last forever. There's a lot to it. Um, but it's really quality. Even the ends, when you cut them, don't fray like most of the cheaper ones do. 
So, um, but I'm gonna double up on this, tie a bow, and I think I'm gonna add a bow on this side over here. I tied a double bow. I'm just gonna add a glue dot on this one where I want it, maybe right here. And we will add a little gold to this card. Since this card didn't go as planned, I'm kind of winging it. <laughs> okay. Lovely. I'm going to tack down my entire card base to the front. Maybe, since we're not adding any ink, I think we're just going to improve. We're going to give this a good impression here. So I'm going to run this through. Okay. I just need to remove that tape in the corners. So we have a little bit of an impression. Kind of hard to tell on camera. But there's something there. And then I'll take this panel and we'll just add this right in the center. And let's add a greeting. This one is kind of playful. Maybe we'll just put, you're the best. Okay, I think the colors are working out better on their own versus combining them. <laughs> so we kind of got two for one today <laughs> with, my, with my sudden change of plans. Um, I am going to finish the card off with some Spellbinders Color Essential Gems. These are the Aura AB Gems. And we're just going to add a few. Okay, so now we have a little bit of shimmer. That's just what we needed. And that will finish off my card projects today. I hope you enjoyed them. I think they look a lot better on their own. <laughs> Let me know down below. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. I appreciate all of you. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.